None of them want us to know truly who we are. That's right. Because it's the end, it's the beginning of the end of all of them once we start finding it out. That's, right. That's the truth, bro. Shit. They don't want us to know that we're a nation of people called Israel. Let's cut them off. Read. That the name of Israel. The name of what? The name of Israel. That your name, your God-given name, Israel, is what? May be no more and remember it. That you won't remember it. You're going to think you black. You're going to think you African American. You're going to think that you a dark skinned person. What? You're going to think that you a nigger. You're going to think when you see your brother, that's the only thing I got for him. If I see a sister with big backsides, I'm going to snatch it up. And if I want a woman, I go and get her. And I do her how I want to. And I'm not going to marry her. And if I have a baby, guess what? I'm not going to take care of it unless Jeez. I feel like it. And if I do feel like it, it's going to be by way of child support. And if I don't want to pay that, I'm not going to get a job because my black lazy behind was never taught any responsibility Bring because we came from the curses and we never, ever want to listen. That's the problem. Hey, so, uh, real quick. Cause I see you've been listening for a little while, and I noticed, you know what I'm saying, you a younger brother. How old are you, you don't mind me asking? 19. 19 years old. So most likely you haven't heard most of what's been brought out today, correct? Now that you know, what color would you say Christ was? What did you learn today? He can ever. You said what now? Y'all say he black. I mean, he could be whatever. You said we say he black or the Bible said he was black? The Bible. Who wrote the Bible? Bring it out! <laughs> Bring it out! Actually, give me that first and then we're going to go back to, to Christ. Uh, uh, who wrote the Bible? Get that to him. Get that to him. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 11. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Remember, bro, this Bible was written by the prophets of the Most High God. He gave the word. Remember back in uh, Exodus it was, correct? When it said how he, when he was dealing with Moses, how, the, how the commandments was written with the finger of God. It's not by any private interpretation. You see what I'm saying? He put the spirit on the prophets to put in this Bible what's true. That's why I can understand why you say what you say, right? Because you probably haven't seen anything in these scriptures that can show you that this Bible is real. That's right. Without a shadow of a doubt. So I'm going to show you something. Come forward real quick. Come closer. Let me show you something, young brother. Because that's what we're here for. Look at these pictures. Have you seen anything like this before in your life? No. Never ever? Yeah. Well, yeah. No. What is this? What are you looking at? Man, it's like... Slaves. Slaves. But when we were slaves, the white people was beating, that, beating this into us. Beating this into us? Yes. How do you know that? I mean... Do you know that? Yes. Yeah. How? First Thessalonians 5, verse 21. Yes, sir. How, brother? You know, so I'm going to make it simple for you. I'm going to show you what's real, but I just got to know where your head is at. How? How do you know that? That they beat that into us. Because they beat something into us, but it wasn't what was in this Bible. They beat their own interpretation and their own narrative of what they said it said. Because guess what? We couldn't read or write. Bring it out! At that time, we couldn't tell you what the pages said. But now we can read and write. That's right. Yes. When we go and read it and it say, God looked like us, Christ looked like us, his chosen people are us, the people that go through slavery are us, we read that for ourselves. Because see, they can only say so much. Because up. God is in control. Right. You see what I'm saying? So he allowed for a black king, King James, to have the Bible translated into a language that we could understand That's right. here in our captivity. So when we could read, when we finally learn, guess what? We could find out it's talking about us. Because you're going to wonder, why the hell is it a people and we all look alike that only bad stuff is happening to at this magnitude, on this level? Because, yeah, bad stuff does happen to everybody. But think about how down and out we are as a people. Think about that, bro. Think about that. You see what I'm saying? So how do you know? Give me that first Thessalonians 5. Read. The book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 21. Uh -huh. Prove all things. Uh -huh. Hold fast that which is good. Young brother, I know you really can't prove it, but I had to ask anyway. How do you really know that that's what they beat into our minds? Because somebody told you that? Right. The same way y'all know. No, it's not the same way. It's not the same way. Everything you learn, most likely you learned it out of a book. We're learning out of the book that God ordained for his people to know. 
And this is how he shows us that this book belongs to us. Who did this happen to? Only us. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Only us, young brother. I promise you that. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words. These right here be the words that what? Which Moses spake uh -huh. unto all Israel. So what we read out of this book is what Moses spake to the Israelites. 28 and 15. Real quick. You know. Read that for me. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. The Bible says it's going to happen. Read. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we stiff neck and rebellious, bro. The reason why we went into slavery, the reason why such a strong people, you just got out of practice. What do you play? Um, I'm in a band. Oh, in a band. Okay, okay. All praises. You play any sports? Yeah. You do anything physically, right? Name name a white boy in your class that do it better than you. Hmm. It's not one, right? As a whole, think about this. We're the strongest, smartest, most intelligent, most most crafty, most creative, the whole nine when it comes to as a people. The greatest people on the face of the earth. That's right. So how were we made in a situation where the people that are beneath us, below us, that are weaker than us, were able to get up over us and do what they do? Because God allowed it. He said, you know what, y'all are so rebellious and so stiff-necked, I got to put a punishment on you to make you wonder what's really going on out here. That's what's happening. Read. But it shall come to pass. It's happen. If thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't and we never did. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Which we're not taught because in the Christian church they say, guess what? Just be nice to each other. Just love one another and don't teach you how to do that. You see what I'm saying? Everything is programmed to put your mind in a place where you don't want to follow the Bible properly. You may say something to me next like, but I can't keep the laws if somebody told you that. But Christ don't tell you that in the Bible. Right. The black Messiah who we described according to the word, what he looked like, a woolly haired, dark skinned man. Read. That all these curses. That a, a bunch of bad things would happen to his people because we're so stiff necked and rebellious. We hard headed, bro. That's how we act. We act like that to this day. Right. You live in Palm Bluff? Where you live at? You know about Palm Bluff? You know how crazy it is out here? It's a bunch of us out here doing a bunch of nonsense. And North Little Rock, what are we doing to each other as a people? Same thing. Killing each other. Going against one another. Hoeing out our sisters. Treating them like they're materials. Hating our brothers. Envying what our brothers have. Think about it, bro. We don't treat each other like the guys that we actually are. We don't treat each other properly like we're God's chosen people because we've never been taught that. It's a part of the system. It was made that way, bro. Right. They want you to look at your brother and be intimidated, be envious, be hateful, mm. some type of that towards your brother. That's what they want from you. And I'm going to show it to you in this Bible. In the Bible. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shall thou be in the city. The reason why North Little Rock is the way it is, the reason why Pine Bluff, Arkansas is the way it is, because we cursed. That's why, bro. Bad things are upon us. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. You tell me who was in the field. You tell me how many smart brothers you know that went to school and in the field of study, they actually came out and started working in that Bring same out. same field. Most likely not. The field is the world, brother. We curse in this whole place. From youth to old age. Because we never wanted to listen to God. I'm going to make it more plain for you. Verse 32. Read. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now you know for a fact, because you look studious, and I know you got a mind in your head. I know that. I know that. You remind me of somebody. I know that. So let's give you some evidence. Look down. It says cash. Right? All persons that have slaves to dispose of will do well by giving me a call as I will give the highest price for men, women, and children. Men, women, and children. We were the ones that were shipped around like goods, like, like merchandise. Right. The Bible says I would what? Thy sons and thy daughters. In case you didn't think it happened to the young ones as well, we were on the auction blocks as well as kids. If you've seen the movie 12 Years a Slave, the young lady that was crying on the porch 
that wouldn't stop crying all day. The man got mad, like, you think I'm not sad too? You think this, this, and this? She cried all day because she was worried about her baby that got sent to another plantation separate from her. Think about it, bro. We had people selling people. Racism is so deep you have no idea. That's right. It's not about just, I don't like you because you're brown. They know who you are. Yes, right. They want you to stay on the bottom. They want you to build this place up on your back. Because once you find out no. that this Bible's talking about you and it's only about you, then that's when the kingdom of heaven is coming. That's, that's right. right. The more people we wake up, that's when it's coming, bro. And everything is designed to keep you asleep. The world is so sexual to keep you asleep. The world is so gay to keep you asleep. Right. The world is the way it is to keep you asleep. Everything they teach you. They're trying to pull this out to schools. You 19, I guarantee you didn't learn as much about this in school than I, that I did. They're trying to keep it from you, brother, I'm telling you. And if you really are humble and listening, you're gonna learn some things today. Read on. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It's the Bible talking about what you see in these images, read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. All day long, your eyes will look and fail. Your mother and father back then, their eyes were looking and failing. Your ancestors, for the children that got given to another people. And guess what? What could they do about it? And there shall be no might in thine hand. No economical or military might to get them back. Even though we're the strongest, the buffest, the, the most athletic, the fastest, the whole nine, we couldn't get them back. How can two or three white boys over a whole plantation take over that many slaves? Mm. And there were revolts, yeah. There was rebellion going on, yeah, 100%. But as a whole, did we get ourselves out of slavery? No, sir. Bring it out. In fact, we're still in slavery to this day, subject to payments. You got to pay somebody for something you want to get by. You got to do that. That's the truth. Well, verse 37. Verse 37. And thou shall become an astonishment. We're astonishing as a people that we're the greatest on the earth. But guess what? We treat each other like crap. When we see each other, we don't see each other as brothers. We see each other as enemies, bro. That's how we talk. No, you got to be hard. You got to walk around with your chest out. You got to walk around and make sure don't nobody punk you. You demand your respect. No, you got to give respect to get it. You see what I'm saying? The little knowledge that we have, we keep it to ourselves. We selfish. I don't want nobody trying to get up over me. Right. That's a thought process, bro. That's not how we should be. You think that's how they're dealing with each other? No, they work together. They do. As evil as they may be, the other nations work together. The Asians work together. The Japanese work together. Right. The Arabs work together. The white man works together. Right. But guess what they teach us? Separate. You want to know what they taught us in Willie Lynch? Mm. I'll teach you something. In a history book, they taught you if he lighter than you and you darker, stay away from him. Y'all against each other. Women versus men. Tall versus short. Right. They separate us in every shape, form, and fashion that they could. Bring it out. Read. And thou shall become an astonishment, a proverb. A proverb is a wise saying. They say if you want to hide something from a black man, not a white man, not an Asian man, not an Arab man. If you want to hide something from a black man, young, smart brother, where do you put it? They know that about us. We couldn't even read back then. They made sure of it so they could tell us that what your book said is what they say it said. Right. And then by the time they created a religion for you to follow, and say, you know what, we're going to put a black man up who we choose, and he's going to do what we say. He's going to be money hungry, trying to get your tithes. Therefore, he's going to tell you, yeah, that is Christ. Yeah, of course. No, I can't show you where it says it in the Bible, but yeah, that's him. And guess what else? Make sure you bring me my money and my tithes. Make sure you bring me what you're supposed to bring me so we can make sure we keep this building up and I can have my planes and cars and holes all I want to. That's what he teaches you. You want to know why? Because he knows in that lead position, under the teachings that they gave him, that he's going to be prosperous himself, just him. That's where the prosperity doctrine comes from. Just him himself. That's why you got greedy, wicked pastors doing all that they're doing. He knows that we're not going to go read it for ourselves. Pastor, what do I do about this? Oh, you can do all things through Christ. But you ask a pastor, but can I keep all the commandments? No, 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 you can't do that. Well, how can I do all things through Christ? That doesn't make any sense. Everybody learns Philippians 4, right? But when we teach that you got to keep the laws, people get dumbfounded at that. Read on. And a byword. And a byword. African-American, you think that's what you are? You a smart brother. You know you're not that. Come on now. Leo Scipio Africanus? Amerigo's Vespucci? Right. That's you? No, that's not you. This place was named by the Italian map maker that came and did what he did. Africa was named by the pale-faced individual that named it. Right. You're not an African-American. You're not a black person. You're not black. You understand that? You're not even the color black. Right. 
You're brown. Why don't they call you brown man? No, they call our Hispanic brothers that. Uh, but they call us black as a nationality. They even don't call. They don't even call Hispanics brown as a nationality. But they call us black. I'm a black person. But you can't show me a real one. You can show me a super dark brother just like Christ, but you can't show me somebody that's black. Right. Well, we can be described as such. Yes, in appearance, we can be described as such. But as a nationality, no, sir. As a name of who we are, no, sir. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. Yes. Right. The Bible calls you Israel, young brother. Read. And a bite word huh? among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. They keep changing our name, bro. Nigger, nigger, coon. Black, Afro-American, colored, African-American. That came in the 80s, bro. Somebody out here was probably born in the 80s. I wasn't. He was. That name came in the 80s, bro. Think about it. That wasn't even that long ago. African-American is not who you are. That's right. But they want you to think that. They want you to think that, bro. Read. No, give me a uh, jump up to 47, 46 first. We're going to go 46 to 48. Read. Verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. Those curses we talked about in the beginning, the bad things are going to be upon you for a sign. I know that's diesel because it says diesel. I know that this is shell because it says shell and a wonder for you to wonder why. Why are we in these conditions? And if they did so-called beat this into us, why the hell did they have us in captivity beating anything in our mind? Yeah. If you don't believe just yet that it wasn't this word that they was beating, why were they beating anything into us? Why were we in subject to anybody? Right. That didn't happen to everybody. Our Native American brothers that came to this land, took over them, tricked them, put uh, all type of, yeah, smallpox, put pestilences upon our brothers took their kindness for weakness and overtook them with weapons. And guess what? Put them on ships and shipped them off to Europe. Just like they went to the west coast of Africa and got with the African brothers who knew that we were not like them just because we were dark complected like them. That's why they say black people sold black people into slavery. Right. No, Africans sold Israelites into slavery. That's, That's what right. it was. That's the history you need to be learning. And you can read books about it. Babylon and Timbuktu tells you millions of black Jews is what they call them. We're the Jews of the book. That's right. Christ is from the, the tribe of Judah. But guess who you think they are? The white people from the Holocaust. That's what they teach you. That's what they beating in your head. They just had to beat you so you don't feel it. They teaching it to you in school, bro. They putting you to sleep. And you an intelligent, young, smart, strong black man. Yes, Israelite man. That's what you are. But guess what? They putting they put knowledge in your head that doesn't belong. They're making you think you know stuff that you really don't know. Christ can be any color, but I can't prove it to you. Christ can look like look look like however he want to look like, but I can't show you where it says that anywhere. Right. At this point, how can you even believe in Christ? Right. Think about it. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign uh, and for a wonder uh, and upon thy seed for ever. Still to this day, a 19-year-old brother, a 30-year-old brother, a 34-year-old man. You see what I'm saying? All of us. It's upon us just like it was upon our ancestors. Right. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Uh -huh. For the abundance of all things. Because of that rebellion and stiff neckness. We didn't serve God for everything like we were supposed to. We constantly wanted what we saw everybody else having. We constantly wanted that, brother, and that's not the way. Even to this day, we want to be like them. Right. You know why? Because we don't know we're great. We never had nothing. I don't want to be like my bum-ass uncles and dad and grandpas and them, unless they had something going for them. We don't want to be like our, our family members. We don't want to be like the, the brothers in the hood doing nothing. Guess what? It's an accomplishment for a black man to have any type of stature. Why? Why? Why is it an accomplishment for a black man to have any type of status? Because we have nothing. Right. We have nothing, bro. And then when we get there, guess what? We forget about our little people. Mm. We forget about our people. We go and get a white woman for our wife, huh. and we move on to the suburbs, yeah. right. and we let it die off from right there. Mm. Right. Have a bunch of little mixed babies, keep the process going. Probably my son go get another white woman. We just go on from there. We don't love our sisters like we're supposed to, because guess why? Our sisters come up from bad situations as well, so they want to show their naked body. They thinking that's the only way to get attention. Right. I see the white girls getting all the opportunities, but guess what? If I shake my ass and wear some booty shorts, then I'll get some opportunities as well. That's I'm going to bag me a rich man. Mm. I'm going to show every body part God gave me instead of covering up for my husband. Bring that way up. a studious young smart, you understand what I'm saying? Brother sees his sister, and he doesn't think you used up and like all out here for everybody. 
We're the ones that cover up and wait for me, a real king, a real God on this earth. Right. Because they're not being brought up with the laws of God. They're not being brought up properly, bro. Right. They're being taught that this sexualized way of this world is okay. This place is horrible, and you know that. Everything got sex in it, bro. Everything. Disney and all. Bro, everything got sex in it. Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, the whole, all that. Everything we coming up on, they putting all type of hidden messages and stuff right in your face as well. Teach. Right. They want that on your mind at all times. Because guess what? That's the easiest way to get somebody to fall. When they start thinking with that. And stop thinking with that. Read. Therefore, uh -huh. shall thou serve thine enemies. Because of that, young brother, that's why we had to serve our enemies. Don't go yet. I gotta go. I know, but watch this real quick. Because it gets really specific. This is why we had to serve our enemies. I want you to look at this picture. What is that on my brother's neck? What is that on his neck? Watch, read. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent them upon us. I told you that. That's why they could get over us, even though we stronger and mightier. Because the Lord let it happen as a punishment. Your mama whoops your behind, not everybody else's. Her son's behind, not everybody else's. Read. In hunger uh -huh. and in thirst. In hunger and thirst, we got to serve them. You know that. We don't own too much of anything. And when we do, we still got to go to them to supply what we have inside of our stores and our establishments. Read. And in nakedness. And the clothes on your back. The panda with the with the, the Chinese and Japanese down the side. Was it some anime or something? That comes from our enemies. Uh -huh. Everything we wear comes from our enemies. As much cotton as we pick, why don't we have textile companies? Right. Let's think on that for a minute. Read. And in one of all things. One of all things. This is where it gets specific. Read. And he and that enemy that's over you that God allowed shall do what? Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Now you take your phone out and go to Google and type in yoke. Y-O-K-E yeah. of iron upon thy neck and tell me what's going to come up. Dark complected people that have chains and shackles on their body that you know only happen to your brothers and sisters in history. The things that you can go see the evidence of. Because you need evidence, right young brother? I get that. You need evidence. You got to need it. I know you need it. Because you didn't have any for me when you said what you said from the beginning. You need it. And your brother's got your back. That's right. Verse 68 as he walks on. Read. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. It says that God would bring us into a condition called slavery again. Egypt in the Bible is defined as bondage and slavery. Read. Again. With ships. It says that he would bring us into slavery again with ships, which are boats. How in the world did we get over here on this side of the earth, young brother? All these are the routes we took in slavery, the transatlantic slave trade and the sub-Saharan slave trade. Right. Some of this might sound familiar to you. We're not dumb, brothers. We don't just know the Bible. We got to know the history. Right. That's what we're, we are Bible scholars. That's what we're here for, young brother. Right. I'm telling you, for real. These are the routes we took. Look up the sub-Saharan slave trade when you get home. Look up the transatlantic slave trade when you get home. And see how they sold us with tobacco, gun money, and spices to the other nations. Look at these boats as we stacked up. That's the bottom of our people's feet. Right. That's us right there on those boats. Stacked up, defecating on one another. Yeah, I said defecating. That means pooping. On one another. Sisters having their periods on one another. Right. We stack pal puking on one another. We peed on one another. In boats like cargo. The Bible said, whoever that happened to is God's chosen people. That's right. And because they didn't listen, he would let that happen as a curse so they could understand who they are when we read it out of this book. This is your evidence. This is real. Yes, Who wrote the Bible? People that look like you. That's right. That got the knowledge from God himself. How would they know something that happened in 1619? Right. No, don't get that yet. Finish that verse. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships Read. by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Exactly how it says it's going to happen as you see it in the images and you learn in history. Go Google it, bro, if you don't know. Read. And thou shalt see it no more again. You won't see our homeland again, which is Jerusalem. That's the mother of us all. Right. Jerusalem is your homeland, brother, which is right up there on the tip of Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Read. And there, uh -huh. and there, when you get off the slave ships, the land you get to. Watch this. Read. Ye shall be sold. Be what? Ye shall be sold. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Didn't we just talk about who got yeah. sold as a people to other people? That's us, brother. There's your evidence. Sold to who? Unto your enemies. Whoever bought us 
is your enemies. Yes, the Asian man, not just white people. Don't think this is a black and white thing. This is an Israelite versus everybody else thing. God's chosen people, and they're all conspiring against us. They are all conspiring against us, so we don't know. Because they none of us want to, none of them want us to know truly who we are. That's right. Because it's the end, it's the beginning of the end of all of them once we start finding it out. That's the truth, bro. And the truth will make you free. It will free your mind. It will wake you up. Finish it off. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. For bond men. For slave men. Read. And bond women. And slave women. Think about that. Psalms 83. Think about that. Bring it on. All right. Call that number, bro. Hey, what you learned today? <laughs> now, come back for a second. What you learned today before I let you go? I mean, I learned Jesus. I mean, I Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, that's him. You learn Christ is black. What else? What does God call you? What name did he call you in the Bible? Not black, not got, not African American. What is your nationality according to the Bible? He calls you a what? Starts with an I. An Israelite. You learn that you're God's chosen people above everybody else. You already knew it in the back of your mind, bro. You already knew it in the back of your mind. I know you did. I know you did. And there's stuff like, I just need two plus two to equal four. We can make all that equal out for you with evidence, with historical books that line up with the scriptures. Because see, it's some people that are like that. They need that. That's why we're supposed to learn. We got to be able to answer every man. You might need that type of patience. We might have to bear a little along with you. But we're going to show you only the truth according to this word. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth